So stepping back, we need the left foot, touching the ground, heart, mind, and then the middle. Good. Okay. Yes, sir. Perfect. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to be looking at Gaja Varibu, the first posture, elephant position. This is a very good position for grounding and in time will increase your confidence. So we're going to do this position today. And Asha has done a little bit before, but it's quite new for her. So you're going to see how she's going to learn it. So Asha, to start with, bring the two feet together. Now, the first thing we do is we open the toes like this, as wide as we can. Now, at this point, I want you to hold onto the ground with your big toe. So feel like you're holding the ground with your big toe. Like that, huh? And then you're going to open the feet. Excellent. Good. Let's do that once again. Just that to start with. So opening the toes, hold the ground. Now, as you open, I want you to jump a little bit out, like that. Excellent. Good. Once more. So open one, hold the toe, jump. Good. Now, the space here between your feet, you want one, two, three hand lengths maximum. Two and a half is also fine. So anything from here Keep here. It's a good way. What's also very important is that you keep your feet parallel. So if you feel they're coming in like this, open them. If they're like this, open at the toes. Good. I'm going to just edge this way so I don't we don't hit each other in the next movement. <clears throat> okay. So the next movement is to take our hands from the side. Now be careful here of the fan. Go up to the top. Then, you want to bring your fingers together and the thumb on top. So it's fingers together, thumb on top. So you make one fist, two hands, one fist. So let's just do that bit again. So from the side, come up, fingers together, thumb on top. Then join the elbow, that's it, bring the hands to the chest. And at this point, you're, you're probably holding your shoulders with too much tension, so just relax. Relax the shoulders down. That's it. So from here again, up, fingers down, thumb on top, elbow, hands to the chest, relax the shoulders, all the way to the chest. Easy. That's it. And then from here, we're going to go down. So down, 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 down. And as you go down, open your knees this way. That's it. Come to the ground, lift the bum a little bit back. Keep the knees as wide as you can. Push, just push the knees out with the elbows, that's it. And try to keep the feet flat on the floor. And then forward and up. Good. Lift this bit up here. Elbows together. Good. Now, if you see Asya's knees, they've come in front of her ankles. This is not good. So we're going to take them back by lifting up here. Now, can you see her knees have come, if you come here, see sir? You can see the knees have come slightly inside, so we want to open them here, not allowing it to come forward. So it's finding these two points, opening this way and lifting this way. That's it. Now they're stacked straight above the ankle. Now we want Asya to stay with some awareness of this position whilst I lift her up here. Good. So slightly back here. Back, back. That's it. There you go. Now, put, open the hands like this, and here, rest a bit, put the arms forward. So if you're getting some pressure, you can rest here by bringing the arms forward. Now we take all of the stretch away from the neck. So you can still work on this point, open, open, open. You can gently imagine someone is pulling you forward here. Good, and have a rest. That's it, come up now. Good, okay, so I'll just show you once more. I see I can just have a rest for a moment. So we open one, two, here, then fingers down, thumb on top. Now actually, your eyes are going to stay focused on your nails. So you watch the thumbnail to here, and you keep watching the thumbnail all the way to here. And then you want to open this way, back this way, to lift this up, and then in our opposite direction, so the pelvis is going back and up, whilst the chest is going forward and up. The, what's happening here is you're engaging your whole muscular core. 
your deep front line, which originates with the muscles which are lifting up the arch of the foot. So as you lift up here, you'll feel your arch coming up. Now that's a good thing, but we want to also latch the toes down like this to work against that. Otherwise it's just going to come up like this and we lose our stability. So we're going to work also in opposition to that contraction by opening up the toes here. So when this deep front lining engages, it's the muscles here, the adductors. These are the muscles that get weak in the body first of all. And then lifting up the chest. So all the, the whole diaphragm is taking that tension through the body. Now, you'll see a lot of people doing elephant like this in an attempt to get the forearms vertical. I would ask Astrid to come over now and apply the smallest pressure she can to my front here in that direction. Oh dear. <laughs> this is what happens when you sit in elephant. We'll try once again, and I'm going to come here. Okay, so the difference of when you sit back or when you sit forward, yeah, this is no good. You have no stability, yeah. This is all the difference, okay. So, we try once again. So, keep here. So, open first the toes and then the feet, and then up. Fingers down, thumb on top, elbows together, thumb to the chest, all the way down, lifting up. Good. Now, just slightly lift the pelvis back, this way, and open the knees. That's it. Good. And arms together. That's it. So try to bring the thumbs here on the, in these little grooves. That's it. And lift this one up. Excellent. Good. Just relax your gaze so you don't get too you know, strong pressure in your eyes. Lift this one back a bit. There you go. So we just come round to the side. Keep this open. So you can see this is the position of the knee that we want. The lower back is in like this. I want you to resist my pressure after. Just open here a bit first and a little bit back. That's it. Now is this my pressure? Now so this is now in a strong position. I could probably sit here. Yeah. Good, and this. So to come up from here, you can drop forward, come up this way, or you can simply push up to standing this way. Okay, let's do it once more. We'll go now down in a slightly different way. So if you bring the feet together, Step out straight this time. Hands together. We're going to go this way, around. So here you're going to look at the thumb. And you're going to come over to here. Mm -hmm. Maybe you go on this side for this one. Okay. Yeah. Go over onto this side. No, no, you now you stand here. But then you can see me be more easy. So from here, you go around to here. And then over and down and up. Yes, very good. Yep. And you can also do both hands or open hands, whichever you feel. A little bit back to the knees. Okay. Right, just one up. That's it. Good more. Now open. Okay. 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 More. There. That's hold, hold, hold. You see, so it's it's not easy. So when we put the knees in the right position, I can feel they're already starting to shake a little bit. So that's enough. Good. And rest. So that's the sign when you have um, when your muscles are tired to hold in that position. And you get the shaking of the knees. Yeah. So yes, it's a lot easier to be here. But when you take the knees out and back, then you'll find relatively soon you start to get slight trembling in the knee. 
maybe one or two seconds, three seconds of this trembling, like one or two breaths, and then come up. So push that. One more. So we'll do again the second way down, <clears throat> which is similar to how you will do in the Vandalam form. So we step out with the left foot, hands together, around, over. And dive down between your feet. Then open the knees. Lift the bum back. Lift the chest. Excellent. So just bring your feet a bit closer together. So just move one of them in. That's good. That's fine. This is nice. A little bit open here. There you go. So you can see how the arch is being lifted. So anyone who has flat feet, this is an excellent position for you. So let's just show the resting position. So bring your arms forward. That's it. Drop your head down. So here is taking the pressure off your upper arms. If you're getting tension in your triceps when you're doing this, a lot of people have tightness in the triceps, so you'll feel keeping your arms here is quite difficult. Putting them forward like this, you relieve that pressure. Now the knees are dropped in. <laughs> Good, and come up. Okay, so just keep an eye on your knees. Better to stay there for just three or four breaths with the knees in the right position as opposed to eight breaths with the knees dropped in. So when you feel you can't keep the knees out anymore, when they're coming like in or if they're coming forward, just rest and come up. Okay, I think that's enough for now. So let's just finish as we started. So if you bring the feet together, hands together, just resting there. And then stepping back. Good, very good, thank you. You can do like this, put the feet together. Like that? Yeah, like that. You just close your eyes. And then with your right hand, you can open your eyes with your right hand. One, two, three. Very good, thank you. <laughs> Great, thanks very much. So that's the first of the Vadivu clinics. Uh, we're going to try and do one each week for you. And we're going to go through all of the basic Vadivu uh, in Kalari. There were they think 60 or 70. Now they have less than 20, unfortunately. So we will cover those. Thanks very much. Thank you, Asya. Thank you, Kisa.